Okay, so today I'm going to install Arch on WSL. So WSL is a Windows subsystem for Linux. I think it comes with Windows 11, 11 Home or Pro. I'm not sure. I just woke up one morning and it was there, probably with an update. I don't know. As you can see here, Linux. And I did install Ubuntu, but I want to install Arch now. So it's got that little folder there. Right, so to install Arch, the first thing you have to do is um, open PowerShell. So I think this one, yeah, it's this one. So just open PowerShell with admin, and then run this command, WSL, that's, that's set default version 2. So this will install everything to WSL version 2 and not 1. So... I don't know, just do that and it will definitely use WSL, which is a newer version, WSL2, and more features and stuff. Right, so once that is done, you need to download the Arch zip file. So this, I suppose, is like an image that it just dumps on WSL and it works. So let's go to the website. So this is on the github.com. I will put it in the description. Is it now this one? Yeah. So obviously you can Google this. You can Google WSL Arch Linux and it will bring you to this web uh, to this GitHub page. Download this first one, arts.zip. So I've downloaded it, downloaded it here into my download folder. Uh, arts.zip and then extract it into this folder. And then all you have to do is run this arch.exe, this executable. So if we run that, it's going to give you this warning. Let's go to more info and run anyway. Hopefully it's not a crazy virus. <laughs> I'm sure it's good. If, uh, it feel, if, if it feels a bit risky, just run it in a, in a virtual virtual machine. Right, so installation complete. So it copied all the files over. Let's press uh, continue. And then uh, let's go to the next step. Okay, so the next step, there it is. <laughs> There's no next step. I went through seven hells of Hades to get to this point, And it still doesn't work really. So, uh, yeah, this is just to show that Arch KDE Plasma does work on WSL. And it works fine. I can open everything or anything. Let's choose dark mode. Uh, apply that. Right. There's the file manager. So I'm using tight VNC to view it. And the server is running here yeah, the background VNC server and so on uh, but yeah it's a bit disappointing because it didn't want to uh, run the normal way so what what I had to do was actually just copy and paste this straight into the terminal and run it so it will kill any uh, previous VNC server servers that's running. And then that's the resolution output. So it just sets that. And then the password, localhost. And then it pretty much just run these. The desktop session, it's Plasma. X11. KDE. And so on. And uh, yeah, then then it runs, but it's not really. So what I have to do is I'm opening up my Arch. So once, so once it's installed, you'll have this this uh, Arch terminal, and then all you have to do is copy and paste all of this in here, run it, then open up your tight VNC. You just kill that quickly. Uh, I 
I can run that. Uh, oh, anyway, if you run it, it will start running and loading everything and then open your VNC viewer, localhost, port 5901, connect password that you set earlier, it has to be six characters. Put that in and boom. It runs your session. So that is basically it. But I found that if you stop everything, it doesn't save anything. Let's see if uh, it will save that output. I don't think so. I think it's a live session that would not save anything. So let's stop this. Um, and then... So I have no idea how this works, <laughs> but uh, oh, might might as well run it. Yes, so run it there. Oh, I should have, I should have stopped it there. Well, let's just stop it completely. Let's go. Let's go. Kill that. Right, nothing is running now. I'm gonna copy this in. Okay, so clear that paste that in run it so it will kill any session that was there before and then open up my tight vnc connect password oh let's save it oh okay okay now it seems to be working fine then but it must be a better way to run this though Well, anyway, I'm not going to dig through this more because I'm not going to use WSL. It's just to show that you can run Arch KD Plasma in WSL 2. So, yeah, that's it. Good.